The Jellyfish is a high-energy movement song that is super silly and tons of fun. It's a repeat-after-me song, meaning students are encouraged to repeat the words in the song, making it super interactive. It focuses on fun movements that are built into the words of the song and also explores the body part vocabulary, arms, wrists, elbows, knees, feet, and head as we move these body parts into the shape of a silly jellyfish. Stay tuned until after the song to learn some fun activities you can do with the jellyfish. Now let's get started. Repeat after me. Arms up, wrists together. The jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish. Arms up, wrists together, elbows together. The jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish. Arms up, wrists together, elbows together, knees together. The jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish. Arms up, wrists together, Elbows together, knees together, feet together. The jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish. Arms up, wrists together, elbows together, knees together, feet together, head back. The jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish, the jellyfish. That was the jellyfish. The jellyfish is a great song for singing with a group. Encourage your students to repeat the words after you sing them. They can do the movements as they sing the words. When we sing arms up, we put our arms up. This is a great way to learn and reinforce the meaning of the vocabulary. This is a high energy song with lots of movement. So it's a great song to play at the beginning of the day to help your students get on the same energy level or to play as a fun break to get some sillies out. Once you are familiar with the song, let your students take turns being the leader. The leader sings the words and does the movements at the front of the class, and everyone can repeat after them. You don't need to use the music for this activity. You can easily sing this song a cappella, and it's still very fun and active. You can also try using different voices. Because this is a repeat after me song, you can make a rule where the students have to repeat after the leader in the same voice. The leader can try a high voice or an opera voice. Anything they can think of. Arms up, wrists together. <laughs> this is a great song to use as a part of an underwater animal theme. Ask your students about other underwater animals and try moving like them. You can swim like a fish or move your arms and legs like an octopus. This is also a great song to review body parts. The jellyfish has the vocabulary arms, wrists, elbows, knees, feet, and head. You can sing the song as a review or use it to help teach different body parts. Once your students are familiar with the vocabulary from the song, try having them do the movements without the music. Say arms up and do the action encouraging the students to repeat after you and copy the action. After they have mastered all the actions, try just saying the commands without the gesture and see if your students can do the actions on their own. Once they have mastered that, try playing a game of Simon Says using the commands and gestures from the song. 
You can even try making purposeful mistakes and see if you can trick them. For example, say, Simon says, arms up, but do another gesture from the song, like this. Simon says, arms up, but put your wrists together. See if they follow what you say or what you do. Remind them that it's a listening game and not a looking game. We hope you enjoy the jellyfish. Keep on singing, learning, and having fun. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out supersimple.com for more songs and resources. If you have ideas for how to use this song in the classroom or at home, let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe for more teaching tips. Woo!